my name is Marlene and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a quick and easy recipe. We're going to be making fideo. Fideo is a comfort food. Growing up, sopita de fideo always made everything better. You can make fideo in many different ways. You can add different vegetables, different proteins like chicken, ground beef, steak. And what I like about this recipe is that you can have it ready in less than 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the fideo that I usually use. There's different kinds of fideo. There's um, the one that just says fideo is the shorter version, which is, I guess you would say your more traditional fideo. And then you have the coil fideo, which is coiled up and it's longer like spaghetti. This is the fideo that I like to use when I make fideo with carne. Um, when I make sopita de fideo, I usually use this one. And this is the one that I also use when I add papas. So this is the one that I'm going to be using today. This is a seven ounce bag, but I'm only going to be making half of it. So here I have all the ingredients that you need to make the fideo. I have one Roma tomato, a piece of a white onion, a garlic clove, a serrano pepper. I'm going to be adding the serrano pepper whole. So I just get the flavor of the serrano and not the spiciness. You can also use jalapeño if you don't have serranos or don't like the serranos. A little bit of cilantro. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of tomato bouillon and half a tablespoon of chicken bouillon and one medium sized potato. You can always add more potato if you like. And here I have oil. You need about three to four tablespoons of oil. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to add our oil to our pan. And we're going to let the oil heat up for a few minutes. So once our oil has warmed up, now we're going to add our fideo. Like I said, I'm only going to be using half of the bag. A little bit of fideo goes a long way. And we're gonna go ahead and start moving this around so we can brown it up. We wanna get it a nice golden brown color. And you wanna constantly be stirring it so it doesn't burn. In a blender cup, we're gonna add the piece of a white onion. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tomato in half just so it's easier to blend up. The garlic. I'm also gonna add the tomato and chicken bouillon with one cup of water. And we're gonna blend this up. I already went ahead and washed and peeled my potato. Now I'm gonna cut it up into small little cubes. I like them to be small. I don't like to have like large chunks in the fideo. Besides, the smaller you cut them, the faster they'll cook. And you can add as much potato as you want. You can add carrots, celery as well. I'm just going to add potatoes today. So as you guys can see, my fideo is starting to get nice and golden brown. So what I like to do is constantly be moving it so it doesn't burn. So when it gets to this point, I'll lower the heat down to low. And then I'm going to add what I blend it up. So once it looks like this, now I'm ready to add what I added to the blender cup, which was this. So we're going to go ahead and add it. I'm gonna add my potato. I'm gonna give this a quick stir. I'm gonna bring the heat up to medium. And we're gonna add four more cups of water. You can add as much or as little water depending on how you like your fideo. We're going to go ahead and add the serrano and the cilantro. If you want, you can taste for salt and salt is to your liking. And we're going to cover this and let this cook 8 to 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, this is what it looks like. And I start to count the time when the water starts to boil. So when the water comes to a boil, you're going to 
count eight to ten minutes and that's how long you're gonna cook it because you don't want to overcook your fideo or your potatoes and this is it our fideo is ready and I like to add a little bit of lime juice and this is it this is how you make fideo with papas as you guys can see, it's so easy to make and it's so good, perfect for a rainy day or when you're feeling under the weather, it's so good. And growing up, we ate it with the tortilla. We would roll up the tortilla and put it in our fideo. We would grab some of the fideo. Mm. It's so good, so comforting. absolutely delicious perfect combo you can even add some beans in here guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys like this recipe and give it a try as you guys can see fideo is super easy to make and absolutely delicious thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next video